you never know who's going to try and take a vehicle away from someone else. Um, it is interesting to see, though, just looking back a couple, like, couple of months, half a year, I should say, to last time we had EMEA play. I mean, in Tropic Picado. Then, I mean, Twisted Minds, thanks, you're still in Power Grid, so that's something we've seen before. But outside of that, there are so many teams in places that are so new, and now the Circle, well, so far north, and a lot of difficult ones at that having to come through here. Question mark, grabbing over the north through Oasis. After all, they're going to have to try to backfill Bias and Martin. I'm not sure what they're planning on doing, and a lot of overlaps are going to happen. One of these now, with M4 trying to run through Navi. Yeah, not the best of scenarios for M-Force. On the rotation, wrapping around south. Again, curious to see where they're opting to enter the circle from. While that's going on, MTB trying to fend off against... Oh! Oh! Nay takes down three! Mabade no. already on the scoreboard this game after taking down Cliff. And now he almost single-handedly took out the entirety of GDE. Twisted Minds spinning out their vehicles in that exact area right now with Entropic riding side by side with him. Hillsteel still got his shack. Blue not pulling up on this one, continuing forward. I definitely not. See if you do anything about this as well with Entropic trying to bear down on them, but Twisted Minds might have something to say about that. So will also MTB. They're in the middle of everything, and I don't think they're going to survive. Yeah, no. Twisted Minds here trying to uh, stay put as well, but Tool and Spiro forced into hiding as multiple teams are looking in their direction. Good thing they got inside the buildings. Able to sit tight now. And, uh, well, at least for a little while longer. They should be okay. Kurt Marco, though, not the same really can be said about him. Yeah, Fex. Look over, Spots Woo on the other side. Hell's teammates on the other side could potentially help out. Spots one down below. Best of luck. Who falls? Second one to follow. Crazy goes down. Not for taking out Gustavo. though. Teams has fallen as well. So Corexi needs to come in and needs to help him. Issue is, he is isolated and then some from his teammates. So Gustav will fall. He'll be looking for more on the other side as FaZe find themselves in a pretty dire situation. Baron looking forward, trying to find some, but all he's met by is a few bullets in return. Has to back off of that one, and again, Vex and uh, and teams able to stay put. They managed to get teams back up alive, so enough players on the hillside that uh, that they should be fine for now. As I say that, actually, teams not quite on his feet, more so on his knees. Let's see, after all. Continuing to push on forward. Apex should be able to back off of this one. Teams will fall and after all, no! In the midst of the rotation, losing one by running into one another. Klim, that nade should be on point. It doesn't have to be near because he is so low at three already. And because of a little vehicle mishap, not only do after all fall, but look at Corexi in the distance making his run across the street. Able to, you could only imagine, regroup with Fex in just a moment. So even though... Base playing this one with the backs against the wall, the winners of the previous game. They can't really leave this position before M4s are dealt with, because having a player behind them like that would be tricky. Now, question mark. Ooh, this is really, really helpful for Face. Chris finds Dante on the rich line, forcing question mark to hurry up the process of the push they're currently in the middle of. Fex is here, Corexi is here, and a good split position. Fex finds one, goes down, return, but once again ascent. Here to do damage, and Lucy wants to do damage down below, and surprising to me, Sarvam ain't really doing a whole lot to impact this. Now, Face will fall, but Hoppa has gone down, the rest are coming through, and as you can see on your minimap now, as well up towards the north, Ace are making their way further down south. Ascent are on the run, they want to clear question mark, they want to get them down before they get the rest of on up, because if they can clear this rich line, they're going to have so much more room to maneuver. We've got ourselves quad to moving through here, trying to send a double send, but they are going to get blasted here by SM by the looks of things. And I don't know. No, no attempt at a trade, but Micah insta-catching him. But Marco finishing it and stealing it. Yeah, it's a tricky one, this one. 
to send. I mean, again, trying to make as much movement as they can on their side of the circle. We haven't really looked up towards the northeast where there's equally much damage coming through. Voldemort will be able to take one out. That's going to be the last from question mark as they fall. So a little more space now to maneuver for Sabin down on the southern side. And Tropic will fall as well. And Ebi now having snuck his way all the way up oh, close oh. is going to take down Brexco. Yeah, this is great from him. And oh, Kiliakai manages to eventually finish it off. But the fact that Ebi got a flush alone uh, off of that, not too bad in the slightest. BBL caught in the midst of this chasm uh, that they're going to have to try and fight out of eventually. I don't think DA has line of sight on them. They're really just kind of having a fight across uh, where BBL is. Yeah. Killia Kai never, nading. Really never is fun to fight in the open. It's even less fun to fight in the open when there's a compound overlooking the entire valley you're in. Not exactly making things any easier. No, no. DA, where are you going from here? Uh, the one thing that kind of potentially poses a threat to them later on is the north as well as the east whilst they finish this off. And just a little bit too shy, I think. Yeah. Oh, get him down again. Never yep. mind. Yeah. Rena comes through. Rust and Marlon, that nade could be perfect. Nope. Camera angle caught me off. Marco, though, will find him on the edge of the <laughs> smoke, and that is BBL out in eighth. And now, well, they can go back to kill Steel's former shack and say, well, I guess we're the only team inside the circle. Mm. Going to be bouncing a bit too far off on the side. This one should be an easy, easy one for BA. One down, two down. They are forced to set. Great tracking and makes it easy pickings there for them. But how much are you going to be able to do? I don't know. Going in towards MTB and yeah, absolutely getting wrecked on the backside of that. Not much that they could get away with. It was a bit of a uh, do or die anyway mm. for them. So MTB now going to probably be looking the way of as much as they don't want to. Twisted Minds who are going to try and hold them off from the north. I mean, first Ooh. game for MTB, they got nine kills in a sixth place. Now first game on Miramar, they get themselves double digits and fifth place guaranteed. Medivay will fall. Spiro flash by a teammate, I think. Forced to go off the edge of the port now where the UMP from Katurk and able to take him down. But dual instincts are on the side. Spots one mid transition, able to take him down as well. He's going to have to be careful about the side, right side here. And they do peak at the same time. But Batulins is absolutely leathering them here with these shots. Pulls out the sawn off. Hello? Okay, well, I mean, he had to try something because he was on fire as well. <laughs> yeah. And they'll be throwing it in the form of grenades into the smoke right on the head. And now it's up to good old CTR Ken, Katurkin. Cool. Never mind, there's a vehicle there as well. Kabam. <laughs> bye bye. Damn. I think for DA, I think you can just sit pretty for a little while. Unless some, one team extreme relocates. Hmm. Well, Navi, perfect rich to work with, but only perfect for another 50 meters or so. Sabah in the meantime. Forced to go into a 2 2 split. They had the rock opportunity up to not go for it. Drives further forward. Oh no. Into the open arms of DA. Here comes a burning Irado. Australia's dodges and weaves and stop him. I was just going to say there was one more in the car, Metralius. You're not going to take him down. Well, there he goes. Stop him. Yeah. Just saying, DA, you want some kills? Because, well, here they are. I mean, it was what I was saying, though, before, right? Like, it's either you fight across against Na'Vi and then get moved to a place where you don't have a ridge line, or you extreme relocate. And they went for option two. Did not work, especially with the 2-2 split of DA. But now, Na'Vi smell blood. Also, the idea of it is that they see the split of DA. They yeah. say four, four people on, on Na'Vi. Nah, let's opt to go for the two on DA issue is that while they go for the two, the remaining six players are also shooting at them. So mm -hmm. not exactly easy. And now, 4v2, Na'Vi's favor. I question Navi's superiority in the MEA. And first thing they do is come steamrolling double digit into what I could only imagine will be a chicken dinner a couple of nates from now, whether it be DA going out to blue or trying to take a fight on here. But Navi clearly high caliber. Never expected anything else, but glad to see that they're able to pull this off. Should be again a pretty clean stream around the side. One nate to work with. Not gonna happen. There you go. 13 kills for Na'Vi, the world champions, as they came the first minimum of the day.